The way we market B2B products and services is outdated crap and no one likes it. And I'm here to fix it. Let's get into it. So we're starting off today's vlog at home. I never really get to uh, show off this view, so we're gonna do it out on the balcony today. When it comes to B2B marketing, obviously I'm a B2B, I'm a B2B service, I'm a B2B product. When it comes to Shogun Social and everything that co goes along with that, the thing that hurt our business the most was stopping what made us successful. And that was doubling down on content since day one. You know, it was podcasts, it was individual TikToks, it was all that kind of stuff. And I reached this weird stage where it was like, I've done enough now, and I just kind of turned it off. I was, I've, I've chafing in between, I've completed it, mate. Whereas, that's just not real, it's not reality, it's not gonna do anything, and it hurt our business so much, and I didn't see the effects until after the cataclysm had happened to show how powerful this was and how market differentiating it is. The real question is though, what are we up to today? Uh, I've got a pretty packed schedule today, so this is gonna be kind of the first test of vlogging while actually having a busy day at work because I started yesterday and I started pretty much uh, with a, a clear schedule with this only to think about. So we're gonna keep that in mind. We've got several appointments, we've got two in-person meetings, some virtual meetings, and I'm gonna try and bring them along we bring you guys along with for all of them. Okay, car cam, here we go. One of the things you're gonna notice about this vlog is it's gonna change a lot. It's gonna change shot style, it's gonna change editing, pacing, the whole nine yards, and it's gonna start off very basic, and it's gonna scale up, which is how I recommend a lot of content channels start for a lot of brands, because ultimately you guys aren't used to producing any content, so just starting is the main thing, and you can improve the editing as you go along. First coffee of the day, getting into it, I've managed to create a whole kind of rig set up here with laptop and monitor to make editing easier because I'm editing yesterday's episode. Now I did a bunch of research from basically creators and we're really going to look at what marketers are doing in this space because realistically they don't know the game plan yet um, and seeing how creators are basically editing their videos for speed because you know there's people that have uploaded daily every single day for like I think Casey Neistat did like 800 days and if anyone doesn't know Casey Neistat do you even go on YouTube? That's nuts. It's like the best blogger ever. So what I want to do is see how I can make my editing process as efficient as possible. And when I've made a bunch of notes, essentially I've got my trusty notepad out here, scanned through a bunch of different YouTube videos, I basically created myself like a Bible list of things that I need to do. But the most important tips I've distilled from yesterday's research, and I'll probably continue to do stuff and relay it to you guys, is when editing for speed, it's probably easier to do three basic passovers. The first one is the rough cut, so just get everything of your all your footage throughout the day, get it in the right line, uh, and just kind of trim out the ums and ahs if you can. The next passover are things like transitions, messing around with the, the right pacing, and just editing those finer bits. Then the last pass through is things like subtitles and fun stuff, um, so you can do it in three different sections. Now I'm hoping that I'll be able to do you know one or two passovers in one session and then maybe do the fun stuff later. Maybe I'll be able to do it all in one go. Maybe one episode will require three days worth of effort. I have no idea yet, um, but it does sound like a very good arrangement and right now I'm kind of going through the first pass through for yesterday's episode and just doing that in that kind of modular sense has really helped me kind of at least mentally speed things up and I think it's actually working faster and working with the additional monitor has definitely helped out. So I'm trying to get into as much editing as possible before we go to our first meeting of the day which will probably be on a little adventure in a coffee shop nearby so we'll have a quick look i shouldn't have had this coffee before my coffee this is ill-advised just force a habit but let's see how we get on updates on one of our key objectives setting up the business in the united states of america so luckily enough uh, someone from the international department of trade was actually in uh, our office today shout out to barclays eagle labs for arranging stuff like that and visits and i just got to ask him a bunch of questions about you know do companies as young as us like startups move to america um how do we do it what kind of visas da, da, da. obviously he's not a visa expert or anything else like that but it was just a good good to get first-hand experiences and just talk about how that that market is uh, i didn't find out too 
too much, but I, I definitely got some, a ray of hope because, you know, for the storybook that I want to be in my life, I, I want it and I need it to be America. Um, and he was like, that's fine because you've probably done a lot already, done some bits, it is probably possible. It's just about picking the right visa, putting together the right case, and I'm sure an immigration lawyer can help you do that. So I was like, cool, as long as it's possible. Many of you might have already done this, so let me know in the comments how you've done it or hit me up in the DMs, especially if you have a similar case to me, um, three years old, working in the creative industry. So if you're similar to that, DM me because I'd love to hear your experience on how you set up your business in America. He's gonna send me someone to get in contact with um, that's gonna be interesting to talk to because they might do a free uh, consultancy hour to talk more about the immigration side of things. So probably bring you guys behind the scenes on that call if I can. So next up, we've got two podcast tours in today. Hopefully we'll get to vlog some of that experience so you can bring you guys along. Personal brand, like one thing I've realized is personal brand is completely transferable. So like I could I could do this company and the whole thing could fall through. Yeah. But if I'm still making video regardless, and I'm the only one talking about a specific subject, us getting another opportunity in anything mm. is so much easier. I have a feeling in like five to 10 years, everyone will be evaluated on their personal brand instead of their CV. A lot of what will actually bring performance and relatability is, is pacing. It's delivering the messages in, in a way that, that makes sense. So if we could say a, a basic leaders update could be, okay, there's gonna be a pride event here, there's, we fixed three potholes on this road and there's a local election coming up, right? That video goes from, hello, my name's Lee, is two. It's three things that you need to know about. First of all, we fixed three potholes here. Second, this is happening, third, all this happened. If you're interested in knowing more about about Southampton, hit that follow button. Gone, 30 seconds, 15 seconds, quick as you like. Those micro updates have far more of an impact than if we did this beautiful sweeping, you know, get the drone shots out and the music's right, all that, because it's the attention retention rate. TikTok has completely shifted how people actually consume. If it looks too nice, it's often like, well, this is an ad. It's an instant recognition in your brain that goes, this is an ad I'm not watching. It. Every single second, something has to be happening to keep you back there. Sound effects, subtitles, pop-ups the B-roll that, that rolls on the things. These are all factors that have to go into increasing viewership. Right, two incredible meetings done and dusted. Unfortunately, I didn't get to show you guys much of the podcast tour. I'll show you the actual studio and stuff in its full glory. Uh, a little bit later, I'll go shoot some stuff separately. Um, but they ended up kind of turning more into a just individual consulting meeting. So uh, hopefully you should have seen some clips of that and how I kind of operate when I'm doing a lot of the consultancy stuff. It's all about finding those pain points, those gaps, and what certain industries aren't doing to subvert expectations. So looking forward to the next one. I've got another meeting in around five minutes. Really successful stuff so far. Yes, absolutely yes, 10,000%. Um, you fucking smash that brief, mate, through the roof. Um, this one in particular, I fucking love. There's a lot we can probably distill with our different images and stuff and make quotes out a little bit more, more interesting or key statistics and things that I want to pull out because I want to start talking to those kind of B2B buyers a bit more. So I uh, fucking love it, mate. And especially you adding in how we would execute the videos is only the 99% of brands aren't doing at the moment. So I'm loving fucking loving that G. Um, I was just in an incredible internal meeting with my team so I'll, I probably would have shown an excerpt of it before this but it was one of our team uh, one of our content creators Keenan who was working up a rebrand for Shogun which looked absolutely incredible so shouts out to him and the work he's put in but it's been a value packed day lots of different meetings hopefully some of the excerpts from that can help some of you and the progress we made today with our, our goal to set up stateside with meeting that contact and finding out more about that where we're uh, hopefully make a big difference. So if you're liking a series, I'd love to know your, your thoughts and theories on how I can improve. Whether it be shooting style, whether it be how we edit, you name it, I need to know how to make this show better for you guys. So let me know in the comments down below. But until then, I'll see you next time.